Well, happy Monday, everybody. I'm really thankful you've joined me for today's devotion. We are continuing to read through the book of Hosea. Today, we are in chapter 6, and there are two verses in this chapter that really stand out to me. The first is verse 4, where he says, and this is God speaking through the prophet, What shall I do with you, O Ephraim, Um, another name for the northern kingdom of Israel or Samaria, one of the tribes? What shall I do with you, O Ephraim? What shall I do with you, O Judah, the southern kingdom as well? And sometimes when Hosea preached, his message may be primarily directed at one kingdom, but there were overflows of it for the other kingdom as well. What shall I do with you, O Ephraim? What shall I do with you, O Judah? For your loyalty is like a morning cloud and like the dew which goes away early. You ever walked outside in the morning, it's cloudy and the grass is wet from the dew? Doesn't take long before the clouds dissipate, move on, and the dew dries. It's gone. And God says that's the way their loyalty was. You know those little spurts of loyalty? And and he says, what shall I do with you? I think some parents and grandparents understand that when they have a wayward child or a wayward grandchild and they do everything they can to love them, to correct them, to support them, to help them, to be there for them. And and, and they almost feel at times at, at wit's end with a rebellious teenager or a rebellious young adult who's making a mess of their life. And they say, what shall I, what, I don't know what to do. And it's almost as if God is saying to his people in the north and the south, what can I do? You, you, you know, every now and then you show me a little bit of love, but it's just fleeting. What am I going to do with you? Then in verse 6, he says to them, Listen, I delight in loyalty rather than sacrifice. Rather than you just showing up at church and doing your religious thing and then the rest of the time living like I'm not part of your life, what I really want is for you to be loyal to me 24-7. Your religious activity on the Sabbath, that sacrifice doesn't mean much if you're not loyal throughout the week. The middle part of verse 6 and in the knowledge of God, rather than burnt offerings, he says, rather than you know offering sacrifices, just get to know me and know my truth and obey it. And sometimes people say, Steve, why do you keep pushing D groups? And why do you keep pushing the Bible reading plan? Because I want people to do more than just come to church on Sunday occasionally. I want you to know God. I want you to know the word of God so that you can live for God because God says that's what he wants from you. This chapter says, would you please stop being a hit and miss Christian, a hit and miss disciple, follower of Jesus. Get to know him and know his word and be loyal. And you will experience the richness, the richness of God's love and God's blessings in ways you'd never have before. That's my prayer for you. That's what God wants for you. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.